Like, I ask myself questions all the time, like, walking around the house. I would just be like, man, what would you do if, like, one of those vampire guys with the pointy shoulders was, like, standing right there? And then I try to answer myself honestly instead of, like, what the tough guy answer is. Mm -hmm. And most of the time I base it on, like, what I'm doing right then and there. And I'm like, oh, I would die. Like, I'd probably have a heart attack because I wouldn't be ready for, like, that thing. I'd just be like, oh, shit, and I'm out. But then when the like when the kid's there, it's always like I would want to have a heart attack, but I'd be like, oh shit, the kid, and I would have to like counter the adrenaline rush that just happened to like not OD myself. Right. <laughs> like, whoo, all right, I'm good. I'm good. I need all this adrenaline to, to yeah, just let think, her run. I, yeah, like I think of all these dumb like horror monsters or like creepy ass situations that we've all heard like tales of, and I just think about my life right now. And I go like, all right, man, like if you were just carrying the laundry and you came right around the corner and there was blah, blah, blah. And it wasn't just like it was chilling on your bed. It looked like it was about to fuck you up right then and there. Like I go, how many times would I actually be prepared for like something like that <laughs> where like it just wouldn't be like too much of a fucking overload, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> you know, it, you, you hit that. You, it it would be the the hesitation of is this real like what is like, yeah what is happening and then and by that time they either eviscerate you or they'd be hot they'd be running at you and then yeah honestly like I feel like my first my first instinct like if it didn't shock me so bad into some kind of like just death basically in some way shape or form because I mean some of this shit out there is like really fucked up like you know it's like saying oh I came around the corner and I saw Jason. And mm -hmm. okay, big dude, mask on, machete, scary as fuck, especially in your house. Probably not having a heart attack from that. Dude hanging on the ceiling, spinning down like a corkscrew, landing on his heads, and then like reverting his body back to like some kind of normal stance, but still looks unnatural. Probably not processing that information correctly. <laughs> and there's going to be some short circuiting going on somewhere through that dude like the yeah. only saving grace is when i think about those silly situations and i'm like oh the kiddo's there like i always go i will probably die after her safety like i'm not saying i would be able to withstand the overall like shock of what the fuck just happened but i always manage to go i could get her out right. i may be fucked in the long run but i could get her out <laughs> <laughs> that's all we ask that's all they ask for us from us as right. dads just yeah. stand in yeah, the way just, of it just Get them to someone that will take care of them so, and then let that thing go some about of us, eating some me. Some of us can be a little more in the way than others can. I'm just saying. you right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my first question would be like, you think this is going to fill you up? <laughs> uh, no. Move on then, homie. <laughs> right, we're all skinny in this house. <laughs> pick any other house, dude. <laughs> You'll be just fine. Right. Too much gristle. <laughs> too much gristle on this meat for you, big boy. <laughs> all right everybody welcome back to the uh two dads react youtube channel we are going to get ready to watch season 10 episode 3 of american horror story and uh we had given episode one a little bit of a bad time oh i mean i don't think we gave it a bad time i think we're just waiting for the other shoe to drop and it was like that episode that's... two is definitely the other shoe yeah yeah we, you know you we were like that's interesting I'm not sure where it's going. And then, you know, like you said, if we would have watched it all together, it would have been ramped the fuck up real quick. Yeah, I don't think we would have had the same opinions we'd have had at the end of episode one and like taking that break. I don't think we would have been like, oh, I hate the show. Now we know, or we didn't say we hate the show. We're like, oh, it's doing it to us again already, like in the first episode. But one thing I didn't, I had not read until between watching episode two and episode three. So the first seven episodes of the, the reason it's called Double Feature is the first seven episodes are vampires. The last seven or six are the aliens. We, like, move to, like, Death Valley, like, halfway through the season. Now, whether yeah, or not I, they tie together, I don't know, so... I never noticed uh, the double feature in any of, like, the screens that I've seen of it. Like, basically everything I saw was just American Horror Story, alien, and vampire on it. And I was mm -hmm. like, all right, some weird intersection. And then I caught one the other day that's a double feature, and I went, God damn it, like... They'll probably be some kind of tied together. 
if but... they loosely if they loosely tie the two sections, great. But here's what it's here's what I hope it's going to cut out is when you and I always gripe about you know a ten episode season and like two or three are kind of just like filler episodes. They just chop those up, give me seven straight good episodes. Uh, you know, one and two being six is a real good number, but the one and two being like kind of like together, like that. That those seven episodes, maybe they'll just cut the filler out, and you won't have any, uh, you won't have any complaint episodes anymore, at least. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm, I guess it all depends on how they tell the story, because they could just cut to the next one, and like all seven episodes Still could not just be slow anything. as fuck. Well, that's <laughs> what right. I'm saying. Like, it could not. Basically, what they're doing is, I'm not gonna write a full season. I'm just gonna write two mini series and. We, I mean, you, we could get the same thing either way. Like, they could teeter <laughs> out see. right here in this first one, and you're like, oh, fuck. And then we roll in the next one, and it's the same, like, doo, doo, again, right. you know? Right. Or we get, like, this one, let's say it stays at this kind of frantic, you know, pace where there's only slowdowns for conversation that needs to happen kind of thing, but everything is still this, like, heightened, no oh, shit, this is weird, you know, like, <laughs> cool. But then you could roll right into the aliens. And it could just be like, how do I put like a sci-fi story where you don't see the alien till the end kind of thing. Right. And it's like, Oh, there it was. I always saw it behind the glass, blah, 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 or whatever. Like, I don't know. Now that I just think they doubled their chance to just do what they always do. <laughs> right. Now you either, now you either have nailed it perfectly and you have to do this every season or, you are just gonna give us more of this, more of the same that we've had the past few seasons, where it's been like, "Oh, it's so dragging," and "Oh, we don't," and then you're gonna drag three episodes and then not give us any answers to half the questions that you've set up the whole time, which was always our biggest complaint on the podcast was like, was like you have these dragging episodes, but you're not by the end of the season you don't answer the questions that you just could have answered in those episodes. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, let's uh, let's hit play and get into uh, episode three. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, yeah, Daddy, I took your pill. You know what I did. <laughs> okay, please. Okay, okay. Well, that was lucky or not. Hey, um, why don't you go get something from like, the vending machine, okay? Uh, man, you know that's gonna taste like shit to her. What a dick move. <laughs> oh, smart girl, smart girl. I got to thinking, by the way. Oh God. What if that pill enhances a thing that you don't consider to be talent? <laughs> like, for instance, like Macaulay Culkin. Like, maybe his talent, sadly, is, like, doing sexual things to people. <laughs> and now he's really good at doing sexual things to people. Red Tide is the name of this So one, you're saying, like, he's boring not really because he's not, like, fallen, starving artist that worked his way. Like, his act like, he just kind of progressed to that because... He likes drugs and his talent is sex. And Maybe. then if he pops the pill, he's like super whore. Super sex, super whore, yeah. <laughs> I could see that, but I kind of feel like most people don't secretly have a talent. Like, you know, like. Right. But they don't. They like, don't you go on a game show that's like secret talent, and then the person goes up and like bounces on one hand and shoots a bow and arrow with their foot. Like, that's not a secret talent. Like, you practice that shit. It's a rare talent, I guess. It's like the better words. But like, I could see it being like, what if you were a super athlete and you took it, and then basketball was your true love, but you were better at football? <laughs> right. <laughs> Why are we still with her? That's a, that's a sad question. What do you mean? She's Jesus. not a great mom or a great wife. And her designing stuff was kind of lame. We don't God. need her. Don't say that. She's your mother and we love her. And she <laughs> loves us. That matters. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, man, they made this little girl, like, almost super dead inside. She is intense with a capital I, sir. <laughs> oh, no, she is. Like, but it was just weird, you know, it's like... You saw her with her mom earlier when she made some jokes about their dad and she like laughed and smiled. And so there was like, obviously that we love each other connection kind of right there. I get it. She's super focused on all of her other stuff, but she still was like, yo, I love my mom. 
But all of a sudden she like took one black pill and now it's all like blood and music, like fuck mom, fuck that baby. Like you took the pill, so hey, you're cool. But even like, she was at that point, like even if he didn't, she was like, fuck it. I'm gonna I'm, pop these I'm, pills I'm dead, and play this music, drink cool. this blood if I got to. <laughs> got the gloves on. You want a DJ? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I wasn't taking it personally. No, I'm just. Ooh. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Not sorry enough. <laughs> Jesus. By the way. If you ever wake up in a basement and you hear someone whistling coming down the stairs, not a good fucking sign. No, your day's <laughs> gonna go bad. I would much prefer they came down quietly. <laughs> Surprise me. Yeah, I don't want a guy that seems fucking whistling very casually like he's done this multiple times and it's very comfortable with it. He has the buckets marked potty. It's been multiple times. Oh yeah, yeah, I know. That's why he was whistling. This is This is the thing he does. He's gonna fuck your ass until you rosebud for camera. That's where your asshole goes from being in any to being an out. No. Honestly, <laughs> I don't get it either. <laughs> oh, game over. <laughs> I've never been so into a vampire kill in my life. No, I love when terrible people run into each other and shit and like just something more terrible has to win. This is so <laughs> impractical. What a fucking dick. Like he is just a dick upon a dick without even fucking knowing it. <laughs> Why did you give it to her in a soup bowl? Like, like let it's her, a yeah. goddamn liquid. Put it in a no fucking out. thermos and let her drink the warm liquid. Oh my it's god. I mean, I know this is way more terrifying watching her eat a bowl of blood soup, especially <laughs> when she gets into it. But man, like, <laughs> why? <laughs> Just why? You already had it in the perfect instrument. Give it to her. Right. <laughs> Thanks for the extra work, Dad. Appreciate it. I know. That's what I'm saying, man. Oh, see, then you don't even get it all. Wasted it. Why are you wasting the blood? <laughs> yes! Surprise. I think there's a ferry you can take in Boston. You just drive your car right on. Oh, no, no. I don't <laughs> like to ride in vehicles that. <laughs> it just. It does not feel right to me. So, on my very long drive out here, it's, I got. It's not a, a horrible. About you from not a horrible way to live life. Tarantino. Oh, that's fucking great. It's okay. I got mace. Mm. She gonna make it? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, he's not uh, pale. Guess it's over. Call it he's got his hat on again. I know I want it so bad, <laughs> so bad. It's probably like a fucking seven hundred dollar hat. <laughs> I know he probably doesn't have many clothes. But he's a fucking just G for wearing that goddamn fishnet shirt all the time. <laughs> it's gotta be so fucking cold there. Some of us are trying to enjoy our meals in peace. So there, there's the answer to my question. Because I'm sure that's what's playing on an infinite loop in hell. He's fucking snapping. Oh, that's so great. And food. Smart play right there. Except why is he not why is he not uh put off by food at this point? Because it didn't take the writer very long, did it? I don't think he took the pill, did he? He did at the very end of the last episode. Remember he he dropped it right in front of uh what's her name? Uh, no, no. What if like uh the lady crackhead character is like a caught in between like she took one of the pills and no one really knows it and she caught herself just turning into like one of the gray things and like goes cold turkey but meth is basically the counter for that pill <laughs> god she's like she's like why is everybody good at writing scripts here i was in the audience last year when austin won two tonys and 
I've rubbed a few out to the romance novels that Dell's written when the uh, Wi-Fi <laughs> went down. And now, you guys sell your souls to the devil? Aliens? Little writer elves. Writer elves? Ah, because honestly, ah. I would believe any of that besides the that it's fucking great. Talented. I had to give her some credit that she talked shit knowing who they were. Yeah, I also kind of feel like she's no joke where her station is, right? Like, she kind of knows who the fuck everybody is. Like, they may not know her, but she's got enough power to not really be scared of anybody, mm -hmm. per se. <laughs> like, uh, I feel homeboy writer there was, like, one of her first clients. You know, and he's like the, as she said, you know, I love you, but I will drop your ass if you don't start writing well. <laughs> <laughs> and then all of a sudden he starts writing these kind of fucking gems. Ooh, the old false quaalude drawer. Hoo wee, there's a pill bag. There's a bag of them. Goddamn, man. They must sell those things at fucking GNC. Goddamn size of horse pills. <laughs> I would hate to be the dude that lays on the ground and has someone pretend to gnaw on their <laughs> neck. <laughs> that would suck so fucking bad. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to do it. I would start fucking laughing every time they tried to do it. <laughs> oh, you see, Austin, he's not a bad parent. Just he is. He stinks out all the time. He's more talented than a three. I write some of my best stuff when I set on young pure blood. Well, that explains why she fucking ate that baby, because she's like, I'm under a deadline. Yeah, right. <laughs> Should have planned that better. You wouldn't have to eat babies. Yeah. <laughs> trying to think of the first movie I saw a baby get ate up in. Jesus, why? What do I even think about that? I don't know. It's just curiosity now. The Witch was the first time I watched a baby get turned into, like, butter. That was sad. Everybody that's seen that movie now remembers that scene, and they're like, I fucking hate that guy. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Downvote. <laughs> Skinny little prick and tweaker. The old sand. Sand in the face. Damn. Not hiding this at all, is he? Hmm. Damn. Oh, good lord. That's a cool shot. <laughs> How'd you get in here? No locks on your door. You bring me back a warm thermos or two. You have to get me the thermos. <laughs> your first kill has got to be that Hollywood agent. I don't like it when people criticize my singing. Mm -mm -mm. This is where they say, you know, you don't got nothing nice to say. Just, just stay quiet. <laughs> Right. Never know when an old vindictive vampire is gonna be fucking offended and <laughs> come kill your ass later. Would you be willing to come to the office and make a statement? No. I just made one. <laughs> no, I just made one. I feel that's just how I'm gonna have to reply to any time someone ends <laughs> any sentence with statement. You're not gonna reply with, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, man. You ever heard of the term brandishing? Can you close the door on your way out, please? I feel like that was your opportunity to ask if you could probably use that really large shower that's somewhere else in that fucking bathroom. <laughs> you do, you know you got a whole bunch of cards when you just casually react to a man with a knife and while you're chilling <laughs> in the tub. And you're like, I'm going to say a couple words and you're going to react and sit the fuck down. Like, right. you're that's straight power. Her ability is gonna run out pretty soon, I think. <laughs> I don't know, man. What about his wife and kid? Kill them too. I'm telling you, man. Well dressed lady in the sun hat. Fucking She's better the watch one in out, charge. man. Better watch out for her. <laughs> don't worry, we're gonna be fine. I'll teach her. Oh, he ain't worried about that. Right. <laughs> don't eat her. Don't eat the babysitter. You know the rules. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he's gonna leave her there hungry. <laughs> this is not gonna go well. Hey, and when your dad comes to get you, I'm going to arrest him. 
I don't think so. Snickety snack snack! Better get under a fucking head like you a slurpy machine. Girl. Dinner's wasted. <laughs> Gotta get under like a fucking slurpy machine. <laughs> a dead. So I'm catching this blood like it's my first apartment. And <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to fix this leak. <laughs> yep. I love how fucking she does not Grab a drink, Harry. Blake, like to talk. any kind of reaction to anything. <laughs> I know. I like how they're just. I want to know cuts. just like what kind of weird shit she has already been around before <laughs> this situation to make her so just calm and cool about everything. Yeah, like just this is. I mean, she did. She did catch on to everything that was happening in town in literally no time. But I guess when a crackhead walks up and hands you a Hollywood script in perfect shape, you you it's not real hard to uh, deduce what's going on, or at least that something is awry. Yeah, but even if you know, man, like watching someone bleed out in front of you or chilling in your bathtub and like known crack addict comes in with a knife, like I don't care if he took a magic pill that made him a good writer, he still may be like crack addict stabby. Like, I don't know why, <laughs> but he may be, right? Well, you know. And she's just like, hey, dear, I got this deck of cards. Let's put a couple bowls under, like. <laughs> Save it for your dad. just fucking ice cold, baby. She's she's, just, she's seen some shit. That's what it is. She's that's seen what I'm shit. saying, dude. And like I didn't even I want, know what she's seen. Yeah, I want like a after credits of like her first like, Oh, this is the world I'm in now moment. And then like that's it. Yeah, I was going to say what if she's a vampire, but that's not. What if she's like what if she has a secret? Maybe she's like the alien tie between the two, who knows. But I feel like there's something going to be some sort of supernatural. But now I, I also kind of want to know about the the pills like it's just somebody making them so yeah, we don't know how you're cooking them. So, are we talking voodoo? Are we going back to like some of the voodoo stuff from uh, Coven? Things like that. Yeah, maybe. I don't mind when it ties back to some of the other seasons. I think uh, the double feature part with the aliens, though, is just like pretty much going to be a straight cut off. Yeah, I and hope the well. and the only interaction will be that characters are playing new characters. Yeah, I hope you get your answers from. From, I guess I hope we get our answers from Asylum with the aliens there. I hope it ties in somehow. It's been yeah, so and I long. don't even care. I don't, and I don't even care if it's just like we see a small piece of Asylum and it doesn't necessarily like clean up the previous stuff, but it kind of just like oh, that's why an alien's there, right? Like it could just be fucking ship crash landed. There we go. Like, just okay, a reference. cool. Just a it reference explains the why the fucking alien magically appeared in that series for a little bit. And then at the end, and you're like, okay, weird <laughs> magical twist. Like, I don't know. Maybe you have like that fucking, like he crash landed. And the only way was to alien babies up, right? You know, or some shit. I don't know. Who knows? Had to, had to, had to, had to get into that crazy Nazi psych doctor's mind. <laughs> true, true. Well, we'll see you next week. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, we appreciate you tuning in every week to uh, watch our old man reactions to this show. It's it's coming around to us, so it's coming around on us. So we maybe uh, maybe maybe it'll 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 work itself out in the end. But uh, thanks, anyways, and we'll catch you guys next week. I'm not having any faith until it's all the way done, and I can <laughs> You're be have like, to wait to the last. Yes, second. <laughs> yes, you finally did it for me. Thank you very much. Right. I'm not Indeed. giving that fucking ship any goddamn hope. And you never until watch I any know. other show. You never watch any other season again. You're like, you finished it off on a good one. I'm not. I'm not coming down from right. This. Yeah, just like I'm done. <laughs> never coming back. This will be the end all be all. <laughs> yep. All right. See you guys.